This boy upon the screen been running up and down like some wild ram goat and the police didn't want him oh so badly you know. Man wanted for murders in sent and sent catching killed by cops. Yeah man the cops then finally caught up with him and dash him with. Ladies and gentlemen, you know hear the whole story. You know sit down tight and listen to that one boy me tell us a crazy thing. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it no makes sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. I got things TV media. Yeah man, I all long this a nasty nigga one ya believe say in could a run fuck. After in kill half the people them don't send tan send catching all over a country in you know, a man. Say man tan brown 46 who was wanted for murder in St. Anne. On the same catching police have had and there wanted list since 2007 is no dead. Bombard Star Brown was one of the two men who allegedly engaged a lawman in gun battle in Unity Valley, St. Anne, yesterday afternoon and were cut down by the lawman. Them bumbly, hey, he might go like him, body man, the next criminal boys, them know, because they never take on the cops, them in a real life. See, because here I know, you say once he take on the cops, them and the cops in corner him, yeah, man, in corner dark. Viewers and subscribers, they were taken to the Sentence Bay Regional Hospital where they were pronounced dead. The other man is unidentified. Bombay star. In quotation, Brown was wanted in Sentence for murder. Deputy Superintendent Kevin Francis confirmed with a gleaner last night. You know. Yes, man, holy for murder ration him go on with the night place for the longest while. I sit in a long run shot catching you know. up. In time, come up on him and now catch up on him, blood clean, you know. Watch what I go on and now. Information surrounding the shooting is sketchy, but the incident is believed to have happened around 4 p.m. at Unity Valley along North South Highway, causing traffic to be back up for several hours, you know. Several meters are sitting to a motor gunshot to a fire. People have to stay back, man. Yeah, man, and have to back off, man. Can you hear now? Can the boy believe someone escaped this time, you know? The law man is serious and say, boy, where you go? See, you're not going to know where man is. Yes, so you're a jump on dirty man. I'm going to go. The law man is mash up him, man. See, me can't to show no what I'm going right now still, but me have to tell you now. You understand? They mash him up seriously, man. Yeah, man. The man there's some serious man with the pony scene, you know. You understand? And, and they must say now, Brown of Portmore St. Catching Address was known also to frequent Linstead and Watson Grove in that parish and Alexandra in St. Anne. Says a man with them multiple places, you know, saying, as a Quintin gone, yes, so in next minute you're Quintin gone, so you can't catch up on him. A boy, Cypri. You understand? So now the police then time him and no man and catch him blood clean now. They must say in January the Portmore police listed him as wanted in connection with murder committed in April 2017. A radio Jamaica report on October the 1st, you know, 2007, said one of Portmore's most wanted suspect, Montan Brown, was among a group of men who opened fire at the police at the cops approach the house in Lesser Portmore. Boy, them beat up some can for the police, them, you know, man. Police, them, if you catch a reverse to blood plate, and I say, boy, them, I go on wicked, you know, saying, and this a nasty nigga was in the midst. You understand? They must say, no, in St. Brown was allegedly involved in shooting death of two men who were implicated in the killing of Chinese national in Brownstone, February 2018. Yeah, man, I hold up a Chinese couple, then dash away, you know, man, and drop a dot, you know, remember, you know. I did a story in a West Mall where man and kill the couple. So I all put things them boy are going with man. Bugger bugger sitting them are going with. That's why when police nyam their food like this, me not really feel no way no man. You understand? I don't feel no way ladies and gentlemen because when them a boy are shoot people on road, they don't have any mercy. Now watch what I go on now. Second incident. Shotty seriously injured in gun attack in Grand Spain. You know? Yeah man, we're gonna find out about this person with them calling him Shotty, you know. And the man said he was seriously injured. Him can't be somebody nice. Because Franny have that name there. That name there not go with nobody good, you know. He not go with a deacon, a pastor, or evangelist, or somebody good in the community. 
it must have be one wicked killer or some shooter, you know. But we find out what I go on when I say about it. Kingston, Jamaica, the Grangsman police are currently investigating a shooting incident which left one man hospitalized in serious condition. The injured man has been identified as Ricardo Fierce, more popular called Shotty from Sufferers Heights, St. Charles Village in St. Kitchen. Boy, is a wrong name that he get. He must a bad man. We could find out if he's a bad man. According to the police reports, Fierce was shot and injured on Saturday night while visiting his girlfriend at a premises on Grand Spen Road. Police say Fierce was at the rear of the premises when a car drove up. One man alighted from the vehicle and gunshots were heard shortly after. Fierce was later discovered suffering from gunshot wound to his head and hand. Bombard star! He was taken to the hospital by the police where he was admitted in serious condition. What a boy lucky man! Jeez, um, peace. This a boy lucky in a man all head shot and get us still alive. This a boy have to change over in life, man. See? I'm going to read in Bible. You understand? Because the paper don't mention anything, say. A badness, maybe police don't know where he's linked to. Why they want to kill him. But that name, they no sound good with the pan him, you know. Shotty, you know. If you get that the name, that, that simple means that you've been firing gunshot for the longest while. Because they're not going to bother with a fire gun. Shotty. You want to get that the name, there. You understand? So we all see what go on in other case and what the most about it. The police them have to get link on a shooting ya. Shotty might know who are going, who want him dead. He might go far cut some information from the cops and make the cops they know who are going. So I think this is gonna be a big investigation, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, may I say. Now viewers and subscribers, this is a very sad situation, you know. I did a story like two or three days ago, you know, where a shooting incident took place at a funeral and a woman left all the way from the United States to deal with her family death, you know, and get murdered in the process in the shooting. We're going at the funeral. Star John no star me I tell her. 59 year old woman killed at wake, you know. Identify 77 year old among others victim, you know. Saying, me I tell her boy is a sad story, boy. Everybody I run up on now and can't believe her. What really go on, Star car? This is a shooting that we're going at the funeral, you know. It terribly, you know. The boy then come to kill Wally past somebody he look like to me you know, and just a spray the gun shot all over the place. According to Glean and the man says the woman who was shot dead by a gun boy at the wake in Central Village, St. Catherine, has been identified. She is 59 year old. Marcia Dillon, a returning resident from the United States. Reports are that the woman arrived on the island on Friday and went straight to the section of the St. Catherine community to attend her mother's wake. Here we go on and now. Sources reported that the body of her appearance was flown into the island. Reports are that while she was at the event, men with guns arrived at the area and opened fire, eating Dylan and three other men, aged 77, 68, and the others is 40s and the 40s you now. So I'll be a big people then shoot up you now. Grown people. I tell a boy, John no star. The criminals then fled the area. You understand? The injured victim were rushed to the hospital where Dylan was pronounced dead and the others admitted. News of the death has since plunged the entire community in mourning, you know. Everybody are mourn. Now, they must say now, a visit by the loop team to the community on Saturday and discharged family members were seen weeping openly. Some relatives were seen still seated on the ground close to where the dastardly attack took place. One family member who asked not to be named recalled how Dylan arrived on the island and she was talking about her plans to enjoy life as a retirement, you know. Saying after working hard for several years in you know, a foreign country, them, you know. So when the people that work hard in a foreign country, them come back to Jamaica now, decides the boy, them are going to live some life or and build a vibes, you know. At this reach them. That's why I advise a lot of return residents who not just go on whole land right now. Now make certain move right now, a place have to clean up better. Jamaica is too volatile right now, it's not under full control. You understand? The law man them need to get a good grip of a fight. You understand? It will take them time because remember, you know, the dirty criminal they already stack up guns all over in their country for a long time, you know. Guns still coming in, you know. You understand? So it's going to take whole power work you now for an hands and hands have to join together to get the thing back to how it should be, you know. You understand what I say? So right now the people of Jamaica them now them have a whole power work for do along with the leaders of the country same way. Everybody have got join hands and heart together and do the right thing right now. Forget it but nice and sweet. 
because it is very volatile as we speak. So I like and share my Bugger Things Media TV. Subscribe to your channel also. Big up on the set. Bugger oh, Things oh, oh. Media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend.